My name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com and the Ascend 90 Day Transformation Program. This is my YouTube video for Wednesday, April 17th, 2013. Three little words today. Think, feel, do. Think, feel, do. Now, we've all heard of cognitive intelligence and affective intelligence. Cognitive and affective. Thinking and feeling. The so-called IQ, our intelligence quotient, our intellect, and our EQ, that's the affective part, our feeling, our emotional intelligence. There's been a tremendous amount uh, written here in the last 10, 15 years about emotional intelligence. What is the point? The point is effectiveness in your business and your personal life is not solely a function of your brain's intellectual capabilities or your IQ. No, not true at all. It is also greatly influenced by your EQ by your affective component, and that is your ability to relate to other people, to be aware and operating um, effectively on an emotional level. But did you know there's a third level? Up until recently, I didn't either. To me, it was just cognitive and affective. But there's a third, and it's called conative. And the conative element of our intelligence, of our behavior, has to do with just that, our behavior. Our ability to do, to actually take action, whether it's our predisposition or how we've been conditioned to take action. Now you think about it, effectiveness in a business world and even in, the, in our personal uh, worlds is not just about our intelligence, our intellect, or our emotional awareness and connectedness. No, it's about what we get done. Man, we want partners, business partners, employees, we want vendors that get things done. At home, you know, we want teenagers, we want our children, we want our families to get things done. That's how we very commonly measure someone's effectiveness. It's not how smart they are, it's not how connected they are emotionally, it's what they've gotten done. And the research that I've read, um, it connects our, our cognitive intelligence to a one-word question and that is why. Why? When people understand why something is required, something is necessary for them to do, or it's in their best interest, and they understand the why behind the what, this is what you need to do, or this is what I need to do, but here's the why, here's the benefit, here's the desired outcome, that's what fuels motivation, inspiration, perseverance, stick to itiveness, all of those characteristics that, again, some people have and some people just don't have. So if you want to grow the cognitive element of your own or someone else's nature of their behavior, help them or yourself get in touch with the why behind the what. Really, what is your goal, of course, but why is that your goal? What is your life going to be like when you achieve that goal? Again, it taps into your motivation, your inspiration, and it will help you to keep going when you meet struggles, which are inevitable. People, you know, run into obstacles. The question is, are you going to allow the obstacles to beat you or are you going to overcome those obstacles? More often than not, it's not your IQ or your EQ that's going to get you over the obstacle. It's your cognitive uh, intelligence. It's your understanding of why which fuels your motivation. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta, eddacosta.com, and the Ascend 90 Day Transformation Program. And wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, go get something done and make it a great day.